Welcome back to part two of solving systems using the equal values method. And the idea behind the equal values method is when I have two equations that are already put in y equals mx plus b, I can set them equal to each other. And the reason why I can set them equal to each other is because if y is equal to y, then I know I can set this right side of the equation equal to each other. So x plus 0 can be set equal to negative 3x plus 8. Let's go ahead and solve this equation. Now I notice that not a lot of equations show a 0 for the y-intercept um, or the starting point. And so we can go ahead and just drop that 0 off as we continue on. So here we're going to add 3x to both sides of the equation. So we can get all of our x's on the left hand side. And remember when I don't see a coefficient in front of my x, it really is a positive 1. So I can say positive 1 plus 1x plus positive 3x gives us a positive 4x. I can go ahead and drop that 0 and say 4x is going to equal 8. And the negative 3x plus 3x is equal to 0, and so that also gets dropped off as well. When I go ahead and divide both sides by the coefficient, we are going to have a value, x value, is going to equal 2. Now we are getting ready. We have our x value, and in our solution, our final answer, we know it has to be an ordered pair. And so we can say that the x value is 2, and let's go ahead and find out what our y value is. Now I can plug this 2 into the first equation, and 2 plus 0 is 2, so we know that y is going to equal 2. But I want to prove it that it doesn't matter which equation I plug the x into, it's still going to come up with the exact same number. So off to the side here, I'm going to plug in the 2. I'm going to replace the variable um, x with parentheses where I'm going to plug in the 2. And then remember, add 8. So y equals negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6 plus 8. And there you go. 8 minus 6 is 2, positive 2. So sure enough, guys, right there we see that the solution where these two lines in the system intersect at the point 2, 2 on our graph. Let's go ahead and try another one. That was kind of fun. Here we go. This next one has a fraction in it, but I don't want you to get freaked out about this fraction because it's not that bad, all right? So remembering that we're setting these two equations equal to each other, I can write my first equation, 1 third x minus 6 is equal to a negative 2x plus 1. Now, with having a fraction into our equation, we might do something that you might have heard of called fraction busters. We're going to get rid of that fraction by multiplying the denominator on both sides. So the denominator is 3, so I'm going to multiply 3 on both sides. Because 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 divided by 3 gives me x. 1x. Also, I could say that this 3 cancels out with this 3, leaving me left over with 1. But I have to distribute to both sides, both terms in the parentheses. So 3 times a negative 6 is a negative 18. Therefore, I also have to distribute to both terms, and 3 times a negative 2x is a negative 6x. And 3 times a positive 1 is a positive 3. So now let's get all our x's onto the left and all the numbers onto the right, or the constants onto the right. 
So I'm going to add its inverse, negative 6x plus 6x on both sides. And remember what we said, that this x by itself is really a positive 1. So therefore, 1x plus 6x is 7x minus 18, keeping our equal signs in line with each other. Negative 6x plus 6x cancels out, or it equals 0, and so that drops off. And then we will go ahead and bring down our positive 3. So this negative 18 needs to move over to the other side of the equal sign, and so its inverse is a positive 18. So I'm going to add a positive 18 to the 3. This equals 0. I'm going to bring down my 7x. And 18 plus 3 is a positive 21. Let's go ahead and divide by my coefficient of 7. Therefore, therefore x will equal a positive 3. right here. Now, here we go with y equals a negative 2 times replacing that x with the parentheses plus 1. We're going to plug in a positive 3. So here we have one third x. I could put it into one third. You could choose. But if you are a student that you'd see, well, 3 times one third is just 1 then you might say 1 minus 6, and you can kind of get an idea and do some mental math. But here we are in our equation, y equals, let's see, a negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6 plus 1. And when y is equal to a negative 5, and that's our final answer. So the solution or the answer where these two lines intersect is at the point of 3, negative 5. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that helped you in solving the following systems by using the equal values method. Um, I apologize for my phone ringing during this video, but um, stay tuned for more videos on the equal values method as well as the substitution and elimination methods as well. And also, we won't forget solving systems using graphing. So stay tuned and check out other videos at Math is Simple.